Hello everyone, it's Erica here and I'm doing a lip sense demonstration. I want to get a little bit of a close up and show you um, lining your lips with lip sense um, and then an application. Of, I'm using Giddy Up and Creamer today. So I do want to show you that um, this company, Senegens, does make lip liners, and here is what one looks like. It has um, just a little, a little brush there, um, but the formula inside is no different from the lipstick. So there are about seven or eight shades you can get in the liner if you are a person that maybe prefers this kind of a little brush. Um, I actually don't. I find that it's easier for me just to use the doe foot applicator as, um, as a liner. So I'm going to kind of show you. Um, and what I'm going to do is use a bit of an overlining technique because as the formula dries and it is plumping your lips, I find that if you go just a bit over, it really helps uh, just keep that nice shape that you want to have. And um, so we're going to line here with Giddy Up, and I'm going to show you an up close of the doe foot applicator here if it will freaking focus. Well, anyways, there's a flat part that you can see, and then there's a bit of a um, smaller part on the doe foot applicator as standard, pretty much standard doe foot. Um, okay, so here we go. I realize I don't typically line my lips first, you know? Okay, so when you're applying the lip sense, you know that you need to use three layers so I feel like when you're doing it just as liner, you don't necessarily need to do three layers of lining and then three layers of filling in, but it, it all depends on the different look you're trying to achieve. Because I want a slight ombre look for this, I am going to line a second time before I fill in with a uh, three times creamer, okay? And then then I'll give you kind of a you'll see how um, because it's liquid you know it's 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 kind of like just working with nail polish or paint but like you know obviously not made out of nail polish or paint but um, here we go. And I'm just using the very tip when I do the lining. And I don't feel like I got that as good as this side, so I will go back and fix that for another layer. That was just a thin layer. Like you don't want to go back and forth with lip sense, you know, you just kind of want to do a swipe and then let it dry. So if it's not to your liking after it's dry and after you've swiped, you can go back. Okay, so that all looks great. 
I am just going to go and like redo this line here that seems a bit thinner of an application. Start it right here. Okay. There we go. That was a, a thicker line. Okay, so this is this is exactly perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry really well. Um, because when you work with extra layers, it's kind of like, you know, you just want to be careful and let it dry pretty well. It only takes about seven to ten seconds to dry. Um, and this color was giddy up. This is I love this color. A lot of people love this color but I figured it'd be a great blend for creamer all right let's swatch creamer and I don't know what gloss yet Ooh, there's creamer hello creamer what an amazing it is such such a legendary nude for sure um, and I was thinking almost about using Clover Gloss. I'm gonna swatch that for you, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know, because it kind of matches this insanity that I did with my eyes, this rainbow. So we might use that one, or once my lipstick is on and I decide I gotta use something else, you never know. All right. So we're going to go ahead in now with the application of creamer and see how this turns out. Okay. That's a good sweep. Okay, so that's the first layer. And I didn't go all the way up to the line for that first layer. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that on the second and third layers to kind of just make sure everything is really blended. All right, I am loving this, loving it so hard, and that's only the second coat, so I'm going to do the third. Yeah, I might not want to color that up. I might not want to color it up with Clover. I was thinking ultra, not ultra gold, the uh, golden hurl. Here it is, Golden Hurl. That might look really sweet with that. Yes. What do you think? Or just clear. I just, I don't, it's like, I just like clear too. All right, let's go in with our third coat here. Creamer Perfection. Oh, that is her heck.
All right, her heck. Okay, I love that. Uh, I might land a little bit down here, I think, with the creamer. So we're going to do just a touch of that. And then I think I'm going to do golden hurl right here and then just clear. Oh, thank goodness I have clear. Okay. So did I really just lose the gold, the gold gloss? <sighs> it's that echo hack, right? Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna lend just a little bit because it's pretty good. I, I want it to be seamless. Oh yeah, that is her hook. And then I'm just gonna go right in here and get that all. Perfect too. Okay, that is how you use a liquid lipstick. Liquid lipstick is different than the wax lipstick. So you might have to practice a little, but you'll get it. It's worth it because it looks so awesome. Okay. I'm going to put some gloss now. So hydrating. I love the gloss. I like not hooking any up. I gotta get myself a new gloss. <laughs> I gotta get myself one, you know? I'm loving this nude. That is such a good nude, isn't it? Look at this. Mm. I love how hydrating that gloss is. So once you have the gloss on, Make sure it's everywhere because you don't you want it to you want it to have enough hydration because this gloss is actually going to permeate the color, soak down underneath the liquid lip, and hydrate your lips, your skin on your lips underneath to help keep that like plump, pouty pucker, you know. So plenty of hydration. And then yeah, that's a good lip. All right. And then let's just see how a little bit of gold, golden pearl. Just to, just to make a pretty picture. Of course, I'll be taking a selfie in this. Yeah, creamer is hot. Creamer is a hot, hot nude. Definitely, definitely living for this. Loving this nude. And y'all know me, you guys. I feel most comfortable in a dark, dark lip. So I love blackberry. Um, I love black cherry. I love metallic plum. Plum. Deep burgundy. But um, this creamer, I can get down with that for sure. Okay, what do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah, definitely loving it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be out and about today. Bye.